Assalamu alaikum my dear viewers and listeners. In this video, let's talk about Ohm's law, which is the part of the chapter current electricity. My dear English version students and Canada College students, those are studying physics this chapter current electricity. Before going to study Ohm's law, you need to know the basic of electricity, whatever the current, whatever the voltage, and whatever the resistance. And then uh, things will be much more easier to get the basic of Ohm's law. Let's talk about the electricity first. You know that the electricity is nothing but the flow of electron. So that means the movement of electric means that movement of charge. So the amount of charge is moving through a wire per unit time is called electricity. So we know that electricity is expressed by I and the unit of the current is ampere so the ampere is equal to coulomb upon second so the amount of charge is moving through a conductor per unit time is called the electricity so what is the basic of ohm's law before we to explain we need to know that v is actually the voltage or we can say this is potential potential differences so v is potential differences or this is a voltage and i is the current current and r is resistance r is resistance so you know that r is a, is a property of any conductor or anything that is the hindrance to the electricity so it's one type of obstacle through the wire and I is the current of uh, the flow of electron. So we know these things actually. So that is the basic of electricity and this one is important to know what is actually Ohm's law. So now let's talk about the statements. What states about it? So Ohm's law states that the current through a conductor, we know about conductor, that means we actually flows electricity so through a conductor between two points between two points is directly directly proportional proportional to the voltage across that two points that means that means if i say that the current that is i is actually proportional to the voltage that means v so simply from that statement we can have this thing that i is directly proportional to v so if we just give an experiment we know that george simon ohm is the scientist who invented these things and through some uh, some experiments that that if we draw a graph and in this x-axis if this is the potential differences and in y axis this is the electricity then you will find that when the voltage is increased similarly the electricity or the flow the current is also is increasing so it's actually the graph should be like this so this direction expresses that the electricity is proportional to the voltage and in the conductor between two points where but the thing is when there is a relationship we are just expressing that i is actually dependent variable that means electricity is depending on the voltage so if we increase the voltage through a wire or through a conductor then the electricity would be again increased so if implement as equation so we need to say that i is equal right now we need a constant and that constant is g and this g is actually the conductance of that conductor so we can say that g is conductance what does it mean actually we know that that electricity is also depending on the properties or the characteristics of that conductor so if the conductivity or the conductance of that wire increased in the same voltage if we apply the same voltage 
but the conductance is higher than the electricity can go up. That simply, suppose this conductance is made up of aluminium and this conductor is made up of copper. So we know that these two are not same. They are made up of two different metal. So that is why the conductance would be different. So if you see, this is the length of this aluminium, aluminium conductor and the copper conductor are same, suppose one meter. And if we apply the same voltage like 20 volt. So if we apply this 20 volt in both same length conductor, the electricity will be definitely different because it depends on the conductance. So if we apply the same voltage but the conductance is different, so in different material, in different conductor, the electricity would be different. So now we know this conductance is actually the opposite quantity of resistance. So we know that G is actually 1 by R. So we can change this as I is actually 1 by R dot V. So we can say I is equal V by R and this is the Ohm's law. So I equal V divided by R is the Ohm's law. So what is the statement? It states that the current through a conductor between two points between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across that two points so what is the basic think about if it is a circuit suppose a very basic circuit uh, this is a battery and this is the resistance so what is actually the resistance we know that resistance is the hindrance or the obstacles to the current flow. So, this is the voltage, the positive and negative, and electricity is flowing here from this direction. And this is R, and the flow of electron would be I, and the voltage is V. So, how can it have a, a interesting points through a triangle is this. this is this is V and this is I and this is R so through this triangle we can easily find the quantity because if we give if we give it a circuit like that and through some quantity we can find the opposite one how come suppose uh, if if there is 20 volt is applied in this circuit and we want we want 2 ampere current through the circuit. So what should be the quantity of resistance should be applied here? So the quantity of R is asked. So we can put uh, our fingers here. Suppose in this uh, triangle we want the value of R. So if you want R then you can find the, the one that is V divided by R. How it's going on? Let me clear one thing. Suppose we have said that that I is actually V divided by R. So if I want the value of R, that means we have V and I. So we can say that R is actually V divided by I. So in this case, we can say R is actually V divided by I. Again, if you want the value of I, that means V divided by R. So if you want the value of I, we can just divide V divided by R. If you want the value of V, then we need to multiply the value of I and R. So the value of V is actually I times R. So from these equations, we can find any one of these according to the questions. So it's a very basic formula that Ohm's law is giving that, that if in this figure, if it is 20 volt 
voltage is applied to find 2 ampere current through this circuit, what should be the resistance? So we need this one. So resistance is actually volt divided by I. So you can say 20 over 2 is, is actually 10. 10 ohm. 10 ohm. So you know that the unit of resistance is ohm. So this ohm is actually a Greek letter and this is omega. So through this sign we express the unit of resistance that is ohm. So if you want 2 ampere electricity through this circuit applying 20 volt potential differences then we need to put 10 ampere, 10 ohm resistance over there. But if we change it a little bit, suppose if we want uh, suppose if we want a 0 0.0.5 0 .0 ampere electricity through this circuit and if there is 2 ohm resistances given what should be the voltage applied in the circuit so we need the value of V so we know that V is equal I times R so simply we can say that 2 times 0 0.5 would be 1 volt so if in a circuit 2 ohm resistance is applied and to get 0.5 ampere resist ampere current we need to add 1 volt potential differences so simply this is a very basic uh, law in current electricity because you know that in, in we need to understand before that what is resistance what is electricity and what is potential differences and then we can understand the basic of ohm's law so simply this triangle can help to find the quantity what you want from the questions so if the voltage is given if the resistance is given or even the current is given through the questions then you can find uh, the the electricity or even the resistance or even the voltage from the questions so please try to understand the basic formula of the circuit so we have the resistance we have the ampere and the voltage and simply we know the process and of course this graph so the voltage is the independent variable if we increase the voltage if we increase the voltage like 2 volt to 4 volt to 8 volt like twice and then similarly the electricity will be twice depending on the voltage because electricity is directly proportional to the potential differences of the conductor and also we need to understand the G is the conductance of the conductor which actually the properties of that conductor so if you can have a different ampere or the different current uh, uh, implying the different same voltage because the conductance of different materials are different and that is why we say that that G is actually the opposite quantity of the resistance so I hope you understand the statement of Ohm's law the graph and the rules we can find the R dividing V by I I, V by R, and the voltage is actually the cross product of I and R. That means the current and resistance. So thank you so very much. In the next video, I'm coming up with the basics of resistance and the formula of resistance. Take care. Stay well.